Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. The Chancellor has put forward today another excellent set of measures to help the UK, and no more so in West Dorset, where 97 per cent of our businesses are small or micro-sized. But we do need urgent attention to our connectivity. With 1.42 megabytes per second broadband speed compared to 200 megabytes per second here in London, single railway lines across the county, and a three hourly rail frequency. Our economy in West Dorset could have its sprinting potential thoroughly unleashed, not only by the measures the Chancellor has announced today, but with further infrastructure investment. Mr. Deputy Speaker, the current wave of remote working presents an enormous opportunity for West Dorset. It has shown that business and commerce does not have to revolve around London or indeed other cities. People can be even more productive from their kitchen table in West Dorset than in urban office blocks. Why have conditioned and recirculated air from the polluted cities when you can breathe the fresh air of West Dorset, Mr Deputy Speaker? If sustained, this shift in working habit can be the catalyst in levelling up the rural and coastal communities of this nation, creating many well-paid opportunities for local people. But we need fast and reliable broadband that is accessible at home and at work. Local enterprise partnerships should be coming into their own at this point. But from my experience in West Dorset, Mr Deputy Speaker, LEPs have varying capability to deliver any economic benefit through infrastructure investment. So can I urge the Minister, please, maybe along with his colleagues in MHCLG, to review the LEPs' deliverability against their remit and, where necessary, drive the radical reform required to deliver the Government's agenda. I also welcome the Chancellor's announcements on stamp duty. But rural economies are not well served by building enormous new housing developments like the one planned for the outskirts of Dorchester. These developments quash the economic potential of building modest numbers of new houses in our villages, because this is what will ensure the future of our local schools, our local shops, our pubs, our garages and indeed our parish churches. Mr Deputy Speaker, the economic damage inflicted by coronavirus is indeed tragic, but it now presents us with the opportunity to build back better, to stimulate the economy and to address rural isolation, social deprivation and the issues that have challenged our rural and coastal communities for many decades.